everyone, it is Gina here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a uh, 10k build challenge. So I've actually already done one of these before, but I did that like in the very beginning of my channel. So probably very few of you will remember it um, unless you've gone back in time and watched it. Um, but only a few of you will probably have uh, remembered my other 10k build challenge but I just felt like doing it again um, because it's actually a fun little challenge to do. Um, and basically, if any of you don't know really what it is, it's just a challenge where you start on a budget of 10,000 simoleons and you have to build a house um, as well as you can for that budget. So of course you are very limited and you really need to uh, save a lot. So of course there is not going to be as many decorations um, as I would have normally put in um, because that's just how it is with a 10k build challenge. Um, but I think I just should comment on the fact that I again disappeared for like a few days and I'm really sorry about that because I thought I would be back and doing videos every single day but I got sick. Um, and I haven't been feeling very well and I'm still not completely well so but I, I really wanted to get some videos out because I don't like not having videos out so I just thought I would be, do a small one for today because I didn't have that much energy um, and I think that was really nice though. I really was uh, happy to be back in the game and also to get a video out for you guys. Um, so I hope you will like this one and I really think it turned out quite nicely. It's just a tiny little house and I kind of like the little shape with the uh, sort of roof going from the ground and then continuing um, with like a half roof going uh, across like a porchy kind of thing. Um, I think it turned out really cute. I, I quite like it and I really wanted to decorate the outside porch quite a lot um, but it just didn't happened because I didn't have as much money left so I got a couple of pieces of furniture and some flowers out there and that was pretty much all I could afford um, so that was what I went with in the end and I always feel like when I start that I have like I have decent amount of money I'm going to be okay like don't worry I'm going to be fine I have money so I just sort of spent money um, in the beginning and then I realized that no I definitely don't have money uh, <laughs> even though I made such a tiny house because I wanted to make sure that the house at least was tiny so that it felt like the inside was not like super bare if you made a big house for a 10k challenge you would not have any money and you would not be able to put a lot of things in and it would look really really bare um, but I think this one turned out pretty cute I quite like it at least um, so I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know uh, what you think of this uh, challenge. What do you, uh, if you like the house that I made. And yeah, it's actually a challenge that was originally made by Thomas TV. So if you want to check out the original uh, challenge, you can go and check out his channel. Um, I'll probably just link it in the description down below so you can find it if you're like interested in the original um, challenge. But anyways, um, so I, I decided to go with like a little bit of a feminine um, interior with the, like the purple bed and then I would have liked to continue the purple theme but I don't feel like you have a lot of purple options in The Sims so it sort of got to be a little bit of a purple and pink mix. Um, but I would have liked to just go purple, but yeah, as I said, I couldn't do that. So, so, and then I also went with that large or not large, like tall dining table. Um, and I just thought that was pretty cool. I kind of liked that. And then like, you'll have bar stools rather than dining stools. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a very sort of modern thing to be sitting and eating on a high table with some bar stools. I quite like it. Um, and I did just realize that I placed a lot of rugs in this house, so maybe that was one of the things I could have saved a little bit on, but I also think the rugs kind of give some extra, I don't know, detail that sort of makes the house feel more homely. So on the other hand, I am probably glad I did not go and delete those. I am going to delete that magazine holder that I put next to the fridge, and then like the salt and pepper on the dining table because 
I did not have money for some outside furniture and I really wanted to have at least a little bit of money there. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if I can like squeeze a painting in anywhere. Um, and I think I end up going with just this one, just not in the kitchen though, just there what I, where I put it. And um, that sort of brightened up the place a little, I think. I also think I delete that <laughs> that uh, shoe holder because I realized I had forgotten the bathroom and bathrooms are expensive. So having a shower, a sink and a toilet costs a fair bit of money. Like it's not like super expensive, but it is expensive enough. And I just realized I had no money left suddenly, um, even though I was feeling fine just a moment ago. <laughs> and um, I'm not a fan of the fan of the lights that I used, but I used them because they were cheap. So, you know, there you have it. You have to make compromises with this um, 10k challenge. And I think overall, it's a really cute build. And I love these little couches. That was the ones I wanted, like some really nice garden furniture and then some potted plants and also perhaps some um, some wild plants. I end up just putting like one wild plant. I put a lavender um, because I don't know, that's just the only thing that I could afford. And uh, then I put some trees. I don't know if I end up with one or two trees. But, you know, as many as I could. And I just realized just now when I put the mailbox there that I actually forgot a bin, both on the outside and on the inside. So that's a problem. I guess, like, you would be moving in here with a budget of 20000 So you would have money left over. You can put in a bin, okay? You can put in a bin. It's going to be fine. Um, otherwise, your sim will just have to take a walk down the road and go and throw their trash somewhere there. But anyways, this is the screenshots. I'm not going to go with any music this time because there are only like, I don't know, five screenshots, I think, because it's a small build. Um, so I'm just going to talk over it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I will be back to my Let's Play as well tomorrow. I promise I really want to get that episode out. Um, I've been dying to. I was trying to record and I just felt so sick that I just I just couldn't get it. Uh, I couldn't get it done. So I'm sorry about that. But the episode will be out soon. Um, and yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video Please remember to like and subscribe if you did and if you enjoy my content um, But thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon